Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below. This person out here, okay, now, like I said, switch the sides, all right? Now, this person that you're dealing with, right? This person wants to come towards you, okay, with an apology. They want to open up emotionally. You're, on the other hand, in two minds about what you want to do with this connection. Either you want to walk away or do you want to still stay, okay? That's what's going on. What's the current situation? Current situation. You're still dangling, you know? So I think this person could have communicated with you, okay? They could have expressed their emotions. They could have apologized to you is also what I'm getting here, okay? But probably you've received that communication. You're just like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know, you know? Uh, what's the current situation between Scorpio and the person they're dealing with? Nice. Ten of Swords of the Rooks. We'll have to clarify that. Looks like someone's reliving the memories over and over and over again. Or this could just be you who's just trying to get over that, that, that painful breakup that you had with this person where you felt backstabbed, betrayed, cheated. We'll clarify that, okay? How do you view, how does this person view Scorpio? How does this person view Scorpio? How does Scorpio view this person? Oh, sorry. Uh, you view this, um, this person views you as someone who probably is no longer, um, actually what did I do? Sorry. Sorry, my bad. So this person views you as someone who's walked away from them, okay? You've just defeated, you've surrendered, and you're no longer wanting to, uh, have a reconciliation with them. They see you as someone who's just like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. But now this person wants to have a compromise with you. You, on the other hand, view this person as someone who this person probably took advantage of you. There was a lack of equal give and take. It was a one-sided situation here. Okay, what are the mutual energies? What is the mutual energy between Scorpio and the person they're dealing with? What is the mutual energy between Scorpio and the person they're dealing with? What is the mutual energy? Wow, Scorpio! So much love, huh? So much love. So you both love each other, dude. Two of cups here. I love you, you love me. We are happy family, kind of that, you know? But the two of cups is telling me you have a very strong soulmate connection out here. You both love each other. You both intuitively know that. You feel that. But you, my friend, are forced to walk away from this connection because you just feel this is not emotionally satisfying you or uh, you're just lacking the stability out here, okay? Which is why you're walking away. You probably were sticking to this person because this was something familiar, okay? You didn't want, have the courage to probably walk away and go into the new. Or you didn't have the courage to walk away from them, not knowing whether they'll come back or no. But guess what? The moment you walk away is when they come in. And that's what's happened. There is communication coming in. But for the four of souls, I feel like you're in no mood to talk to this person out here. Or probably this person is waiting for the right time to approach you because they have the ace of wands on their mind. What's the page of cups here? What's the Peter of Cups? This person now wants to take a leap of faith with you. They want to come and express themselves emotionally. Give me one card. Give me a collective card for the Two of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. Not like you have to clarify, but still. Give me a collective card for the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Give me a collective card for the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. You see, again Eight of Cups. Dude, you're so done. Ten of Swords in reverse. Why is this the mutual? Why is the Ten of Swords in reverse here as the current situation? Yeah, you're moving on. That's what's happening. You're moving on, babe. You just feel. I mean, this is the worst that things could get, and you'd realize that it's only up from here. Things couldn't have got worse than this. You walk away, this person comes in. Five of swords in reverse, why is that here? Five of swords in reverse. Now this person wants to commit to you with a four of wands here. But they're very scared. You probably may reject them. They feel rejected by you or they're scared of fear of rejection. They're scared of rejection, fear of rejection. Why is the six of pentacles in reverse here? You feel this person took advantage of you? 
and now it's left a bad taste in your mouth because although you have the best of memories with them this person screwed up big time by making it a one sided situation where you gave in and gave and gave and gave to avoid of exhaustion and this person just didn't realize it okay now this person sees you as someone they want long term with they want commitment with they want to marry you okay two of cups here was that here why for the two of cups be here silly two of cups here because you love each other but there is no communication between you both Dude, you guys aren't talking. What's with you? I mean, at least let this person, I mean, know that you're no longer interested if they communicate, that is. Or this person just should just start to get the ball rolling, you know. Come on, open up, start talking. They won't open their mouth what's so fucking ever. There is this silence here between you both. I think you're both trying to heal and rejuvenate. You know what I'm getting? This person out here that you're dealing with, right? The love is there. They want this with you. But this person out here is trying to take things one step at a time. You know, like baby steps. Because they don't want to fuck it up this time around. Why is the seven of wands in reverse? That's the root of the issue. Why is the seven of wands in reverse? Someone needs to drop their guards, you know, and get the confidence out here is what I'm getting. They need to get the confidence out here. I think the problem here is that you're no longer fighting for this connection and you're just moving forward. That's what I'm getting. This is what's happening here. This is why all this is happening. You're no longer fighting for the connection. You feel this is just something that's slipping the ground, okay? And you can't hold on to this any longer. Whether there was competition, whether there was holding on to this person, fighting for this connection, you were doing it all by your own. You're just dropping the guards and just moving forward out here, you know? Because you no longer really give a shit to this person. King of Cups here is how they feel for you. What's the King of Cups? Seven of Wands. Babe, what's the point? What's the point of having your guards up and loving you? And loving the person here? I don't know. I don't get it. I, this is so silly. King of Pentacles. Why is that here? You could be doing very well financially, Scorpio. What's the King of Pentacles here? You know, it's like this person out here. Yeah, see, the, you, you've you been hurt so bad. You've been hurt so bad. You can't get over that bullshit, you know? You're just scared that probably things would backfire here. So you're just like, you know what, I'm rather going to put in all my work and focus on something that's productive and something that gives me results and something that I can depend on rather than someone who's unreliable, whose emotions come in and out, who starts, in, you know, or with whom you have like a on and off connection with. Because again, they're coming towards you with the Ace of Wands here to start a brand new beginning. What's the Ace of Wands here? Think of Cups. Wow. <laughs> they just love you. That's it. They do. This person feels a lot for you. Judgment in reverse. Maybe you don't want to give this a second chance out here. That's your action. Why the judgment in reverse here? Judgment in reverse. King of Swords. You're just being very logical about this. No longer being in your emotions. You're trying to make a very head over heart decision. And you're just choosing to stay very mentally balanced. This person out here is staying mentally balanced. But they want to... Um, I'm not saying that this person is making a heart over head decision. But I'm just saying they're trying to be very balanced out here. So the love is there. But you will find out that when this person... Even when they talk to you, right? It's like they'll never say, I love you. They'll never express the emotion. Emotional quotient is missing. You know? But the regret is deep. You know? The regret is deep. And they want to do whatever they can to make this work out. But they just want to take baby steps towards you. Okay? They do. Four of Swords here. Why is the Four of Swords here? What's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? I feel this person out here is not talking to you. But they still want to move ahead and move towards you with that leap of faith. They want to jump in and they want to make things work out with you. But it's just that things are just not going their favor or there are just changes coming up which they can't accept. They probably feel the timing isn't right. You know, but again, ultimately this person wants to work with you. They want to build with you. They want to put in that commitment, that effort, that hard work to get the ball rolling with you. But you may feel that the situation is going nowhere, which is why you probably are just choosing to just stay quiet about it, you know. It's like there is no uh, action from your side. There's no communication from your side. You're just like, you know what, if it's got to be, it's got to be. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If this person's got to come in, they'll come and stop me wherever I am, okay. But that's the truth, right. If a guy or girl really, really wants you, right, they'll let you know that they want you and they will not give up, okay. 
So, yeah, you don't want to give this person a second chance here because you're not thinking emotionally, okay? And the pain, the heartbreak is too much, which is why you're choosing to be very stubborn, very uh, conservative. But I feel you're just being uh, very practical and logical, okay? Very realistic is what I'm being, getting here. This person out here now has so much love for all of a sudden that they want a leap of faith. They want to start a brand new chapter with you. They want to start from scratch out here, okay? And... Um, the Seven of Wands is not always grabbing cards up, but this is also fighting for what they want. They believe they love you and they're ready to fight for this connection. Okay, so that's what I'm getting out here. Whilst you out here are releasing this connection because you think you can't hold on any longer. That's what I have here. That was a beautiful reading. Alright, so hope to see you later. Bye-bye.